Hello and welcome to Monster Art Reviews. This is Monster Master Arthur and today we're going to be looking at a total of three artworks. No, four artworks. We will be looking at two works by Mark Com Comerford and a work by Leonardo Kang as well as one by yours truly, a sketch. So, I like this idea. I saw this idea by, uh, I believe it's... Uh, terrainscapes, that's right, terrainscapes, a guy that does uh, terrain videos, crafting, but like professional stuff, really awesome, and he does some reviews on there, and he gives about three or something minutes, and he has a timer, so I'm going to add a timer here, and we'll start out with two minutes per artwork. I don't want to spend too long, but I want to spend enough to honor, give the artwork as much honor as it deserves, so let's get started here. I'm going to set it at two per artwork, so we got two, four, six, eight. Eight minutes total. All right, so let's get started. Boom. There we go. All right, so the first artwork we're going to be talking about is this one by Mark Comer Ford. And the description tells us the painting is acrylic on canvas. I used oil painting on the blood in parts to give it more thickness. The painting is from a scene from the 1985 film Reanimator. The character is called Harbert West. And the guy with the syringe. I mix the colors to make the neon kind of glow. Cool. And this is really cool because a coming up, uh, no, not a coming up, a last artwork, a sketch I did, the crawling eyeball. Actually, this movie was mentioned below that video, so right on, right on time. So let's get started talking about this. So he said he used some oil paints for the red for the blood to stand out. So that's really cool. Um, what else we got here? Um, he used a mix of greens to make him strong. What can I say? It's an awesome, oops. It's an awesome artwork overall. Um, strong colors, a lot of powerful contrast here. Really eye-catching. Uh, nice layout shapes are looking good. Uh, I don't see any issues here. I wonder how big this piece is. Very cool indeed. Uh, let's see. There we go. Alright, let's see cat dead details later. So, very cool artwork. Go check out uh, Mark Comer Ford's uh, Facebook page for more artwork. And you can buy some stuff over there as well. So, go check it out. Awesome artist. Again, love the contrast. Very nice work. Let's take a look at a work by... Uh, Leonardo Kang, and this is called a Jeff the Killer, another Jeff the Killer work. We've seen one before, and nice work. It's a pencil work. Uh, let's see. Um, make sure if you use paper, you use some good quality paper so you don't see stuff like this in the background leaking off to the front of the page. Also, let's see here. Looks cleaner. Looks, uh, uh, looks nice. Uh, I would say... Focus on the uh, anatomy here, so for example, this leg is closer to the viewer, so it should actually be bigger. So this knee would actually maybe end up somewhere here and look some more thing like that, all right? So yeah, it would be a bit bigger since it is closer. It wouldn't be much bigger, but it needs to be at least as big as that leg in the background as this leg here. Uh, just some tips there, tidbits there. We got a line going through the hand here. His arm's going through the hand. Does he have ghost? Is he already... He's so scared that he's already become a ghost. So make sure you keep an eye on things like that. Uh, what else do we have going on here? Nice boots. All right. Good. Trailing blood. Like that. White eyes. Like that too. We got 28 seconds. So uh, uh, what else can I say? Pretty cool. Like the hairstyle. Like the style that you do here. I still need to read Jeff the Killer on this channel. If you guys would like to see me read Jeff the Killer on this channel in the monstrous literature uh series do let me know down below and i'll find that out i've seen it i haven't read it and i know it's it's a little bit long so let me know if you really want it if you do i'll read it for you and i'll pack it with some cool images of course all right let's go look at the next artwork and it is another it's a drawing this time by mark comer ford looks like it's done by pen let's see if we can get any information on it and we got some great information. It's been done by Biro Pen, uh, which is basically ballpoint pen. And he did it when he was 15 years old, ladies and gentlemen. 15 years old, he did this witch. 
This is pretty awesome work. Great work of darks and lights and that midsections of the midsections of gray. I love this piece. Very nice work. Um, I love the long nose and the elongated chin. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Well, you were 15 years old. Not much to say other than well done. Well done. Take a look at that, people. Take a look at that. Have a good look at that artwork. Nice eyes. Especially the dark. The dark and the shadows is something that uh, you won't really understand the concepts of until uh, later after you've uh, studied art for a while. So understanding that at age 15 and practicing it already, that's excellent. And uh, we, we see a lot of the, the high contrast in your work currently, Mark. So we've seen, we see that you've come a long way and you've learned a lot and you've developed a lot. And he keeps going. He just keeps going. And that's awesome. Totally awesome. So... Very cool design. Actually, I really like this. I'd like to see a, a 3D sculpt of this or something. It's just got such great balance. It's not too thin. It's got the wide head here. It's, it's just a great balance piece. So thanks again, sir, for uh, submitting this. And make sure you guys go check out his work at his Facebook page. That will be linked down below. And finally, a piece by yours truly. Well, guys, since I do talk a lot, I need to put my my digital, well, my graphics pen where my mouth is. So I decided if I don't get enough requests and submissions, I'll just add in one of my old sketches or works to talk about and review as well. Just to show that I'm not perfect and, well, hopefully prove to myself that I've gotten better. So here's an old work. Actually, this work, I believe, is from 2009 when I started really exploring and getting deeper into digital painting. It was just a a, uh, a sketch. This wasn't a serious piece, but it did, I do remember it still took at least an hour or so to, to make. So some things I could have worked on that I need to get better, well, that I hopefully I did get better at, but take a look at that. Where is that? Why is that off to the edge like that? That's a bit messy right there. Um, I blurred out the background, but you can still see it was done by sharp edged brushes. It doesn't look very paint like um there's a bit too much detail put in in places that shouldn't be put in in the waters and all those lines there are better waves ways to make waves and water water textures that are faster so i can improve on that i hopefully i've improved on that um i do some things i do like is this part of the octopus the kraken maybe that's my favorite part of this work um a bit too much of the brightness here uh, it'd be nicer to see some different kind of lights, maybe even two, two uh, lights, uh, maybe a blue light going off this side, maybe a, a white light going off the top, maybe even a yellow light going off the bottom somewhere. Three different light sources would be great. So that's it. I didn't even sign this piece. And that sound tells us that time is up. Is it going to stop? I don't know. Let's just click on it. Okay. There we go. Time's up. So hopefully I've improved a long way. I do think so. And this works from about 2009. Hope you guys enjoyed the work today. So we had this work by yours truly. A work by Mark Comerford. work by Leonardo Kang. Jeff the Killer. And this work by Mark Comerford as well. So if you enjoyed this. And if you would like to see your artwork in the video. Please submit your artwork to me via Facebook. You can simply message it to me and let me know that you would like it featured on a video on the channel and I would be happy to do so. If you're new to the channel, keep in mind this is everything monster. There's all kinds of stuff on this channel but it all relates to monsters. So if you like this video, let us know down below and if you enjoy monsters, if you enjoy art, if you want to learn more about art or monsters, do make sure to subscribe and as always do let me know what you would like to see on this channel until next time this has been monster master author